Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the support and coming to see about my channel today. And if you can, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And I always make sure I always reply to every comment that I get. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and enjoy what you heard, please give me a big thumbs up. Everything will be greatly appreciated. And thank you once again for the support. And for my returning sub fam, thank you so much for the support and love and come and see what I'm about today. Namaste, love and light, love and blessings, and many blessings are yet to come for you. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. When the universe is trying to contact you, we'll get different messages from all over the place. But before I do that, the music that you're hearing in the background, I love it. It's just... It just seems like the Jamaican vibe. You know, I love Jamaican music. Um, it's called the Medicinal Vibe Dub Sub Sub Dub Music Mix. And I will go ahead and put that in the link down below. In the description. I will put the link in the description down below. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yes, the Twin Flame 101. When the universe is trying to contact you, they send you so many signs in so many different ways. And it's letting you know, hey, we're trying to get your attention. It's just like I said before, angels and stuff like that are not going to come down here. They, they will send different signs. Like you could be thinking of something and driving. And you will see a bumper sticker or you will see a personalized license plate. You even might see a billboard or a number. Synchronicities. That's another one. Synchronicities. And, you you know, it's just like you'll have a question in your head. And next thing you know, you'll see, like, um, a bumper sticker that might say something. And you'll know exactly what it means. And, you know, because it's just like when I drive ride with my daughter or whatever. I remember dropping her off at school. And I seen this license tag that said Roz uh, 1319. And, you know, if you're a close friend to me, uh, a lot of... You know, especially my childhood friends, they call me Roz. You know, a lot of my mom's friends, they always call me Roz. Um, and my dad's birthday, uh, the birth year and the month and the day combined is like 1313. So, um, it was just really crazy just to actually see that. And I was just like, you know, that lets me know that things are getting better and better and better. And it's just like when you're going through stuff, there, there's so many times that... You know, it could be your loved ones trying to get in touch with you. Like, you might have ringing in your ears. It's not always tendonitis, but if you know that you're having ringing in the ears and it gets persistent about it, you might want to go to the doctor. But if they, there's, there's times that you can go to the doctor and there's certain things that they will not be able to find out that you have issues with. But you have it. Like, you know, there. I remember when I was having seizures and stuff like that. They could not find out what the heck was going on. And it was like I was 26 years old. It only lasted for like, I think, I'm trying to remember because this was back in 2008, 2009. So it lasted for like about five or six months. And they you know, I had a dream. And I didn't know who it was. But the, the voice sound familiar to say, oh, you know, it's going to be over soon. You know, because I used to cry all the time because my uh seizures my epilepsy got really bad like really got really bad i would be dazed at sometimes i wouldn't know what was going on where i was at you know bumps and bruises all over the place and it was just like so crazy when i found out of what was it last year that my dad had the same issue except he was like about five or six years old and i was 26 years old so it was like a you know, a big gap when I find out so many things that I went through, that he's went through it, so, you know, not at the same time, but we both had the same issues in our past. So it's just like so many, so many things that come to your life and you're trying to find out what's going on. And it's just sometimes when you have questions, you know, about are you on the right path? Are you doing the right thing? What can I do to improve myself? Try to make sure if you have not the best thing to do is meditate you know go on a nature walk and when you go on those nature walks and you go on meditation 
will not go on meditation. When you do meditation, you will get a lot of answers that way. And it's just sometimes you'll hear that little voice in your head that lets you know, hey, it's okay. Be patient. You know, don't give up. You know, stay strong. They'll always seem to encourage you more. So make sure you listen to stuff like that. So it's just like when the high pitch, that, that's what I was talking about when I got thrown off. The tendonitis is not always when it comes to ringing in the ears. It's, it's like when your spirits spirits of your loved ones i'm sorry i'm feel like i'm melting right now i'm gonna have the hot flashes all day um when you have that ringing in your ear and i used to get them too i used to go like this like oh my gosh this hurts it hurts so bad your senses get heightened sometimes and it's like that's when your your loved ones are coming down just to get your attention and it's just sometimes you know you might feel chill you might think about somebody you know that passed on and or it's a thought that comes into your head about that certain person that the universe is wanting you to deal with um, and you get a chill that means that they're there so there's so many different signs synchronicities you know your loved ones they'll come down just to show support even though you might not see them or hear them they're always there and the universe is always there but you know like I've said in other videos also you know they're like our parents they can't sit up here and intervene on anything unless we ask and then sometimes it's you know situations you're like you know they you know you might watch this video and it's just like yeah that might be true but there are certain things that has happened in my life or something that happens to somebody that's close to you that could have been very detrimental and some things you know I'm sorry but it was meant to happen and that's a, sometimes it's a bad thing but usually out of the you know out of a tragedy it can bring some kind of positive positivity to life like it was a close friend not really a close friend but somebody I went to school with um that lost his daughter she was so beautiful and what's crazy she looks like Paris Hilton to me. not Paris Hilton but Paris Jackson to me I was like oh my gosh she looks just like Paris and she had passed away God rest her soul I don't know what happened to her but she was able to help I think between five to fifty people I'm not sure I don't know the 50 where 50 came from but I know it was five people I think that I know for sure that um, she was a donor and she was able to help those five people so it was like it was tragic that my friend or classmate had to lose her, his daughter um, but it brought so many positive lights out of, uh, out of the situation because his heart was able to heal a little bit better even though it was a great loss because it's it's nothing like bearing your own child but that situation really comforted him that just to know that parts of his daughter is living in different individuals to help them go on so it's just like sometimes it just seems like when we have loved ones that has passed away through God only know you know some certain things that goes on that you know we try to come up with answers um usually you know, when I, or at least my opinion, I don't want to sit up here and say for everybody else. It's like when I try to look at things as a different perspective when it comes to losing loved ones. Um, it was meant for something greater. And you never know at that time. But it's just like sometimes at that time you really can't see it. But after time, you, you'll probably know. You'll probably know. So I don't want nobody to get mad at me for saying that because it's just like death is very... You know, it's a circle of life. It always brings us awareness. It always brings us sadness. But it brings us joy at the same time. Just to know that our loved ones are not, you know, suffering anymore. And so it was just, like, really hard when I was going through my situation, you know, asking God, you know, why did this happen to me? You know, why did I have to find out about my dad after he died? Even though I knew there was things that kept us connected throughout the years, I just never knew what that was and it just was so heartbreaking to me that I had to find out who my dad was after he had passed and that was like a great the worst fear and I told my family that that was my worst fear of actually growing up and not it actually knowing my, my family but not knowing they were my family and they helped me live that out but it, it it's just like when I look at the situation now I'm glad that everything has happened the way it happened because it brought me so much joy. Even though the sorrow of losing my dad, not able to meet him, not able to really get to know him like I did. But just to know that love was there and that bond that nobody could take away. That was one thing my family could not take away is our bond, our spiritual bond. 
So, you know, I look at that every day as the greatest gift my father could have ever gave me. It's the gift of love. And I actually can say that without wanting to cry and stuff like that. Because I miss my dad terribly. I miss him. But then I can't really miss him because I hear him all the time. I really do. I hear him all the time. And he always tells me, don't stop telling me you miss me. Stop being a crybaby. You don't got to cry every time you think of me. And it's just like, now if I cry, it, it's not it's not for sorrow. It's not for anything for sorrow. It's just the fact is, when you have that much love for somebody, that's a beautiful thing. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I hope you are able to get something out of the message that I sent to you today. Hopefully you resonate with my video and drop a line or two. And give me a big thumbs up. Share if you need be. I would love for that if you can share my videos. I don't mind that. Um, and like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. And I will keep you on my prayers and hope you do the same for me. And I will see you on my next video. And hope you have a blessed week. And whatever you're doing today. Peace. And peace. Wow.